So this is the lawn after thatching. I have gone over this several times. In fact, it got so thick I couldn't even get the thatcher through here again. It's just, it was, it was, the blades were just going through the thatch that had already been pulled out of the lawn. This lawn was just very, very tight. And um, what I mean by tight is it just had so much moss and dead grass in there. But this is as much as I could pull out of here at this time. And like I say, the client's going to come here and here and rake this. And I may be back again to thatches. I'm thinking no. I'm thinking if you just aerate seed and fertilize this property, it'll be up and ready to sell here in a real hurry. Um, the thing with thatching is, is you want to replace what you have taken out of the lawn. And I don't want to take too much out of here. I mean, it would be nice just to give this client a beautiful brand new lawn. And I could do that. But the problem is, is it's almost July. A couple days, it's going to be July. This thing goes up for sale in a month's time. That's August. Man, it could be 100 degrees out here. So my job is to do what's right for the client. And I'm going to recommend that he just aerate seed and fertilize this thing as soon as possible. Get it green and um, just make a better looking lawn, so, you know, so this house can sell. Once again, this is Stuart. Thank you. Bye-bye.